Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more popper slivers. And my, I have hat hair right now. Been driving all day with my hat on. Uh, now it's just gonna alfalfa in the front. Whatever. Let's take a look at our hand. Perfectly reasonable. I like it. Unfortunately, we're gonna be using our ash barons to find a forest. Because uh, I don't want a chance not having these cards as playable. Uh, especially against blue. So now it's become a little bit more... Oh, never mind. We're not doing that. We're just going to go turn one Viverlin. And use this Ash Barrens for when we need it to find our blue source, basically. Uh, but now we're set. We're set. We got the refill. We got the lands. We got the lords. And they got double blue. <laughs> Gotta love that. Mm. Um... don't really want to play anything but I don't want to not play anything uh, uh, let's see if they want to go for a one mana dork maybe they'll forget about the double poisonous problematic situation they might have they do good I will keep swinging in for double poisonous then we'll put a clock on them that way and I'll wait to play lords and stuff until we have four mana or until they tap out Basically, the game plan when it comes to blue for me is just four mana, bait something, dump another thing, because anything you put down is enough pressure for blue, really. Once you get one lord down, it's it's enough pressure to handle anything. So once they tap out or once we get our mana going right, that's when we'll start playing these. But for now, we're going to call blue on this. I actually should have called red. I should have called red because I'm going to Ash Baron since they're not doing anything. I sh could have Ash Barons last turn, actually, but it is what it is. We're going to get them for nothing because they're going to snap, looks like. Spell Stutter. Okay, well, if they're tapping out to just chump block one of our Viverlint, that's fine. That's a counter spell out of their hand and an opening to play a Lord. It's perfectly reasonable to me. We still got him at four poisonous, so. Let's go get our sinew down. And we'll just take advantage of what they're doing. Sitting on a bunch of cards. And they do have the fourth land, which now it becomes a little problematic. Because now they can hold up double counter spells if they so choose. But hey, again, now we've got two power on the board. Most anything they have with Flash isn't that great. Oh, Pester might. I haven't seen you around in blue in a while. Alright, so they get to tap down something. But they do tap out. Which is key. So, it doesn't really matter who you tap down. Now I get to play another Lord. And a Winding Way. Hmm, gotta love that. Yeah, let's go Winding. While it's free. Boom, that is beautiful. I like everything I'm seeing. I'm going to play the things they know about, and Predatory is just the superior lord anyways. And we'll get in four, three. Unless they want to... I don't think they've got another flash creature to double block, but they will just go ahead and block. They're scared. They know the power of slivers, and they know that I have another lord in my hand at least. So they're in trouble. Affinity. I'm not worried about it now. They got a lot of them, but it's okay. I'm going to bait them with a sinew and then slam a muscle, and we can just attack into these foos. I'm, I, I think I'm going to play out my Ash Barons too, so I can play my Sidewinder this turn. Three mana. Yeah. Let's start with our Lord and see what they do. But I want to get down a lord in my flanking for sure this this upcoming turn. Passing? Huh? Yes, no? Maybe? Passing? 
Passing. There we go. All right. Gem hide's cool, but I'm not worried about playing that right now. Let's just do the game plan. Counter. Perfectly fine. We're just going to play this. Muscle. It's going to land. Flanking. Now you're in trouble. Now you have no good blocks. And a concede. That makes sense. Blue. Pyroblast. And are they going to bring in snaps against us? They might. Blue, blue, blue. Mass Vandal. Not super great. What, am I, what else am I looking for here? I don't really care about provoke. I think striking's good to leave in though. Can take out Take out Sentinel and one of our mast. That seems reasonable. Just bring in our two pyroblasts. We don't really have anything else for blue. Not really. The only thing I'd be concerned about is like snap we could like benevolent bodyguard with snap or something but we've got the pyroblast let's just run it like that try to overwhelm them again tarmogoyf they got a cool icon too cool looking fairy makes sense they're playing blue they got the fairy cannot keep this hand unfortunately look at that nonsense holy crap talk about off color one one land which if I haven't tried to overreach with one lands before, this is definitely not the case to do it because we've got our red source and nothing else playable. Terrible hand. One of the worst I've seen. This is just as bad. This is, well, it's not just as bad, but it's pretty bad. All of this is not great. Uh, we're going to dump. I'm going to dump this and this. It's not, I'm not happy about it, but we need to have gem hide land. And unfortunately we're on the draw. Do get another refill, which is nice, but we're in a problematic situation. We got a lot of work to do and they can get set up faster than we can put out now. I can't, I can't have gem hide get countered. So I'm just going to play slow. I think we're really going to need gem hide. If we're going to come back in this game. I'm just going to spell stutter block. This is some awesome artwork. Is this a magic online only artwork? Because like I've never seen that artwork. Maria Polkova. Good stuff. That is awesome. Got to find the artwork for that. I don't think I've, I've never seen that. Never seen it. What else does it say? That's it. Okay. Well, they're tapped out. So now... Do I just go winding way? I think I do just go winding way. Okay, that's fine. Save our lead the stampede for a rainy day. See what they do here. They know we have a Lord now, so. Maybe they hold stuff up. Why wouldn't they? They're blue. Straight away, tap my land. They're going to tap my... Okay, that's fine. They can tap that. That, I'm not worried about. Let's go ahead and get a Lord down while they're tapped. The second we get gem hide down, we're in shape. But we gotta play patient with it. Interesting move. They didn't know about our other forest, so and they saw the Lord, so I feel like it might have even been better for them to tap the, the forest down to try to stop us from playing the Lord, maybe for a turn, but it is what it is. They're gonna start pressuring us in the air now. So we do need to start catching up. All right, we got a lot going on now. I think I want plated over Viverlint in this case, just so we can set up to start blocking these efficiently. So I think I'm going to bait with a Viverlint, see if they want to counter. They're not gonna. Interesting. 
They have two cards in hand. I think they have another spell stutter sprite. But they're trying to... Counter a two drop. Watch, they keep putting me in these awkward positions. Awkward, awkward positions. <sighs> All right, let's just try to play plated. We just got to keep getting stuff out. That just went straight through. Maybe they don't have the spell stutter strike. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, if that's the case, then good look into them. Am I getting set up here, though? You cost three. All right, we can swing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I thought I could just get through there. <laughs> I really don't know why I thought that. I was like, yeah, we'll swing. They can block. We can kill it. No, we can't. I'm losing touch with reality. All right, another land's good in this position. Leave the Stampede is very good. All right, let's go for it. That goes through. Yes, okay. Two cards in hand, and it looks like we're counter... Spell free. Let's try to refill. No, I mean, I'll take all of these. We lose a Pyroblast, which isn't great. Let's go ahead and get down another Viverlint. Start really freaking them out, since they're so scared of these Viverlints. That's all it took? Wow, they really fizzled out there, huh? We're drawing another land and then finally our winged, which we probably next turn, all things considered, just do another lead the stampede after we start dumping stuff. But, well, no. We probably would have just put our lords down and put our striking down and then start swinging, but good game. Played patient and it worked out. Uh, I've been doing pretty good against Mono Blue lately. I'm pretty happy. So hopefully you enjoyed that one too. Make sure to leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more Popper Slivers coming up and we'll see you guys in the next one.